Today is Sunday, March 4th, and it's my dad's 96th birthday. So normally when my dad is in Connecticut, uh, we will go to church. If it's the summertime, we might be picking blueberries on his farm. Uh, and then uh, we will have lunch together uh, with me and, and other family members. Today is not a normal Sunday because my dad is on spring break in Florida. My dad is a member of the greatest generation. He is a World War II veteran. Uh, he was born in 1922 and he graduated from uh, Middletown High School uh, in 1940. And when he graduated, he knew that it was only going to be a short time before he would be drafted. Uh, so he went to work for uh, Hamilton Standard. He made airplane propellers for B-24s, planes he later flew in when he was in the Army Air Corps. Uh, my dad was actually a fighter pilot in World War II. And he uh, went on 33 missions. He was stationed in Italy and he flew his missions to bomb industrial targets in Yugoslavia and Germany. After the war, my dad went to Philadelphia and went to college at Drexel University on the GI Bill and he got his degree in accounting. And in 1950, after completing his education, he was working in Connecticut as an insurance agent. One of his clients was my uncle, John Racy, who introduced my dad to my mom. My parents were married in 1958. Um, my mother had other offers along the way and was having difficulty making up her mind. So anyway, <laughs> my parents were married in 1958. My parents had four children in six years, if you can imagine that. Um, my mother was quite the remarkable woman. Uh, and they uh, had me first, and my brother John, my sister Karen, and my sister Dale. And my dad um, still lives on the farm that his parents purchased after they had immigrated from Poland, worked in a slaughterhouse, saved their uh, money and bought a beautiful farm in Middletown. And my dad had great persistence, an amazing work ethic, uh, and he was someone who was always looking out for other people. Um, and when he, even though he was a very busy person uh, with his business, he had a small business, he was a full-time farmer, but he always found ways to help other people. Uh, and to be involved in politics and public service, and I think he passed that on to us as well. So my dad will be back for Easter, and this is a picture of my dad in his uh, World War II Army Air Corps uniform, which unbelievably uh, he can still fit into at the age of 96. And in fact, when I was Secretary of the State and honoring World War II veterans. Uh, he wore this very same uniform to the ceremony in 2010, and he was quite the star of the show. Dad, wishing you happy birthday. See you soon.